All right, Las Vegas, it's time for another elimination matchup between two amazing teams, but only one can continue. The first team coming to the stage is ready to ice up. Get ready, because here comes Minnesota. Give it up, Tatch! Bang! Kimmy! And Bitch! The Minnesota Rocker! These guys weren't able to get it done in five yesterday, but the last time they played Boston, they got it done. And guess who it was? It was the new guy, Fame, absolutely popping off and frying them throughout that series, especially in the search and destroys. Will he leave a lasting impact on this season? He can start right now by taking down the Boston Breach once again. Let's bring out the Boston Breach. It's time. Without further ado, Las Vegas, help me give a warm welcome to your Boston Breach. Show some love to Awakening, Beans, Snoopy, and Crip. It's the Boston Breach. A talented stacked roster for the Boston Breach now find them in the situation of getting knocked out of champs after making a last minute roster change. Historically, they have the edge in this matchup, specifically in that game number three. They have never lost to control, and Snoopy yesterday took over in game number three with a 1.28 on the season. Can Boston Breach do it here once again against the Minnesota Rocker? Let's get match two started, Blaze. I'm ready to see if the, if the rookie can get it done once again as well, Allie. It's going to be a great matchup on the stage. Las Vegas, you're ready to get it going? All right, it's time for your casters. It's Murky Maven. Thank you so much, Blaze. All right, let's get it rocking. Uh, okay, for this particular match, I mean, after the last one, whatever. Tough to follow up. Yes, it is, but <laughs> anything can go. This is one of those matches where you go in. I know as much as I think you and I have picked Rocker in this particular one, we went through and did our predictions. Who the hell knows? This Boston team can catch fire. They have the ability to make some noise. This should go four or five maps. I mean, they slay well. It's just sort of turning that into objective true, time, true. especially at hardpoint, right? Their search and destroy has been great. Uh, Beans has been magnificent on the sniper, but the hard point, it's like you're getting all of these kills, but not turning into time when you need to. We're starting off with that fortress hardpoint. They haven't won this in a long time, but they have choked a bunch of these maps. Well, I think it's something like, you know, they've lost like nine in a row or whatever it is, but they've, they've put up like 220 points, an average 210 points somewhere in that ballpark. So it's like, yeah, you're getting very close games. You're just not able to close it out. And, you know, after we talked to uh, Skies after a major and talked to the phase guys and you, know, you talked to a bunch of teams that are really focusing on hardpoint, really trying to fix it, fix the fundamentals, get the right people in the right spots. Some teams have really improved there. Like those two are a good example. This team's been trying to work on it. The improvements just haven't really come. Yeah, and it's hard to work on your fundamentals when you have a different roster every yeah, couple true, of weeks, true. right? Especially young roster. I, I mean, yeah. these guys are trying to, to figure it out and do what they can. But you can see right there, Minnesota Rock with a clear advantage on this map. But we'll see what the Boston Breach can do here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to map one. You see the four map win streak here on Fortress for Rocker. Can they keep it going? And experience, definitely something we are going to talk about. So much youth, so little experience. When you talk about champs, you got three players that have no champs experience on Breach. On the other end of it, attaches one of champs. Cammy's got a second. Bance has got a second. You've got big time champs experience for Minnesota Rocker. Yeah, I think the one good thing maybe for Boston is, you know what, you had a, a, a tough matchup with a young team against the, the crowd yesterday, against Optic, and, and you played pretty well, right? It's not like the slaying wasn't there, just you couldn't turn it in uh, to it to wins. But yeah. I think for the, the pressure of these young guys to have a solid performance yesterday, it could turn to something better today. And I think that whole pressure thing and experience can be overstated because it doesn't apply to maybe 99% of the moments, but it's like those, that 1%, those crazy moments where the experience could really be everything. We know Tash can be one of the most clutch players in the world. We'll see what kind of performance he's going to have. This Snoopy already on a five spree. He was six and two to start so far. 35 seconds off that first hill and already set up here at P2 is this Boston Bridge team as their man AR beans. Locking it down, has the trophy, and Ann waiting for the teammates. Rocker spawning out, trying to get a breakdown through, but the nades on point for Breach. Ah, he's just tickling them, just getting damage in. Beans just putting in a few headshots here and there, letting the teammates clean it up behind the utility, and it's crap. Now up close and personal, able to take down one. Beans still sitting in the back, and throwing the flank is Snoopy. 
Seven and three. The hot start, as you mentioned, his beast just let Batman soar across the gap. And this is worst case scenario here for Rocker as we're gonna rotate over to that right side of your mini map. Snoopy, he flies out the window, flips the spawns. As they're able to find those kills, awakening such a great individual performance. We've seen that time and time again from him, but it's like, you know, is he trying to do this a little bit too much? Can they be better today? The slaying was there. Now, here at P3, about to pop. They find the kills on rotation. And you can just see in the top left, Fame and Bands, one or two and 13 to start as a duo. Yeah, they've got to get it going. It's a very slow start, which can happen at times, but at some point, you got to start to come alive. Now for Breach, those kills right now are turning into time. It's turning into objective points. Really fantastic stuff from there. That's going to be three, make it four. Everybody dropped the entire team basically involved. And you're getting close to eclipsing that 100 point mark. Now on rotation, we're watching Fred. They're trying to get out and it is flashy. Four in a row, drop shot is on. Nine and two star, my man's feeling himself. Yeah, talking to Jay, study in the back. He's like, I want to see something from Kremp. And so far, so good. Nine and three start, eight and four. The stuff duo, the stick is there. Up to nine now is Snoopy. As you can see already, the score almost to 100 points. Minnesota, they need to lock down this rotation. They need to lock down this hill. Get right back into the game. Yeah, it, it just feels like a, a swing is going to come at some point. We talk about this map a lot. Oh, no, it is. In general. Usually you're going to throw a punch. Rocker's going to have a moment where they bring it back. How do you deal with it if you are breached? Okay. <laughs> or do you just lay him out, but maybe some life now coming into Rocker? Yeah, so usually, like, you know, you have a throw a punch back. The slaying is there. It's just not. I mean, everybody negative. Beans winning a big one-on-one, -on -one, trying to play his life top dart, but he will get cut down. There's a break that comes on through that would just be a nightmare for Minnesota Rocker, but Cammy with a couple of kills able to lock it down on the Guns are going to get hot at some point. They, they're going to get hot at some point. They're going to start to bring it back. And it's just how to breach the old dead. You can see the kill feed, just the color starting to shift a little bit. Kills start to come through a bit. Or it Bean says, never mind. It beats Fire Prize 3. Attach could be the last guy here. What a play from Beans to, well, just shut me up. Yeah, I mean, they get this time. It's right back to a 100 point lead. So you can see three players double positive on the Boston side. Fame trying to get going. He had such a great series yesterday. Nice kill on to Kremp as he hits it up here at towards P5. Cammy able to win another one on one. You do have one player in maps. That's going to be Awakening. Just waiting, waiting for his teammate or someone from Minnesota to try to get on this hill. He's going to find a kill that's going to allow his teammates to push on through Archway and get right on the statue. Nice win there from Fame, but the insta trade is through. Now to Cammy. We'll see if he's able to disrupt. They're out of the point for now. You can see the Tom's are just trying to get the angle, but two gonna push through on his right. That's three through on the feet again for Boston Breach. Awaking a part of it. That's a triple for Big Wake. Now five in a row, and yeah, that lead climbing towards 100 again. They are piecing right now, the Breach. And yeah, now you have them trapped here as well. So you win this rotation over to P1, but you see Minnesota attaching Cammy, just trying to fly on through, trying to flip the map. They do a good job. The problem is it's tough to fight for map control when you are down 100. Boston will take that scrap time all day long, try to put this first map away. Maybe a chance here. Can you combine maybe the P1 and P2, get yourself back in the game, put Boston in that spawn trap. This might be the moment you can do it. Down 115, Rocker. Will this be the moment of life? Or streak's gonna maybe make it difficult. Two kills come through behind the streak as well. This could be a great sequence. That's gonna hit. Cammy's gonna be ripped out of it. All four are gonna be dropped and right into the hard point go breach. The streak, the kills coming up big in a moment where Rocker might have found some life. Yeah, when you're getting smoked in the slaying column, that can always be a concern. The, the streak earned and now Kremp on six in a row. There's another one in the back pocket, awakening with the third in the feed. Snoopy finds number four, and they get out of that trap as Awakening is beaming right now. Well, you kind of said it. I was saying usually there's a moment where they swing back, but like sometimes you just knock them out, and that's what it's looking right, like right now. Breach have been impeccable. Four in a row again for Wake, 16 and nine. We'll see if he can keep that going, but Snoopy, Brian, right there with him. Both guys, 16 and nine, just leading the way for this Boston Breach team. The lead just continues to grow. Up 140, every fight just seemingly going their way. And Snoopy making his name known. Yeah, you're seeing the young talent here for Breach, right? I mean, you've talked, we've talked to coaches and players. These guys, they have this skill. We, we hear about their scrims, how good they are in the practice. But let's go to a Breach. Listen and hear it, end in map number one. Oh, 
Him to get the three piece from well, top maps, gets him off the hill, breaks the spawn, and throws the game out. At first, I wasn't sure that they thought a trophy was there. It's like everyone throw your stuff trying to get rid of the trophy type thing. Yeah, but but then you heard your crew was like, oh, no, 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 there's no trophy at all. Just get your stuff in to get the break. You saw a lot of, I mean, I think Awakening had a couple of like, triples, Deans had a few. There were a lot of big multi kills. They all, they, they and, all popped off. Yeah, see, they were. Is that as simple as it's a map one? One team came out hot, one team didn't. I mean, I think so. I, I mean, you are going to see this right here. Plus 12, plus 7, plus 4, plus 7. Just unbelievable stuff from the Boston Breach side. And one big thing to note, I mean, Awakening, one thing that was talked about in his hard point was sort of time in the hill. Obviously, Be Bean's leading the way, but I think Awakening had like 50 seconds across two maps yesterday in those hard points already better than that here in map number one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you want to see Beans and Awakening obviously picking up a majority of that and Beans soaking it up. But as we look through some of the highlights, I mean, now, one of the beautiful things about Call of Duty, sort of the change of pace that comes in our best of five. You know, you come out so hot in a hard point, but now it just shifts completely when you think about Search and Destroy. A chance for Rocker to bring it back, but I don't know if it's a, a coach that needs to give him a pep talk, attach, fans, somebody's got to get these guys riled up. You need a pep talk at champs? I, I hope not, but yeah. I, it looks like it after that map one. I... Yeah, they need a hard regain here. I mean, their Mercado was solid yesterday, able to take down the subliners, but right behind him was Boston Breach. I mean, Beans' the sniper was hitting. We'll see if that continues today. But Boston, I mean, we saw it. Nine map streak on this one leading into this. I mean, if you're a rocker, you're thinking, I mean, it's not a guaranteed map number one win, but it, it's a favorable map. Just does not go their way. They get fried. Yeah, I just kept waiting for that moment because we've seen some real terrific comebacks on this just because, like, you can really chain together, like, three hard points. Like, you can get something wild going where you're, there's a huge swing. I kept waiting for it. Kept trying to set it up. It just never happened. You see Beans. He is fired up. The passion is a-flowing. And it's not a slugfest in the map one. Only one side was throwing punches. They take the map one. An overlook of the stats and how it broke down. You see Krep with that 1.86. Just everybody hit. I mean, 30 kill difference. Rocker in the 100 point club. They get smoked. But as you said, now you refocus on search and destroy. Try to bring this back. But the scary thing is, is this is where Breach have just been so darn strong. No matter the lineup has been in search, ever since adding Beans, it just feels like this is his specialty. We expect Beans to have an impact, but you can see it looks like some positive communication kind of going on the main stage on that side. It's, you get just the going over strats, right? I mean, you have new players, uh, new, yeah, new yeah. players joining the lineup, what you want to do, right? You're prepping the night before. And I think, like, listen, uh, there's always been uh, a lot of pressure on a map one. I mean, I know some years it was like the team that won the map one won a series like 85 to 90% of the time. Like, I, I, that's been something that's kind of a trend over the years. Like, obviously it's good to start out strong, but I think with a young team, even more, like at a champs, when you have like a new squad, a lot of youth, like coming out strong, just getting that map win's gotta be big. Yeah, but taking a look at our monster energy free game here for Rocker, for them to refocus, Vance 
mean, 0.63 yesterday. We know he can be such a 50-50 player at times, but when he's on, Rocker is tough to beat. And then another Mercado search and destroy from the ARs. This is what we talked about. They beat potentially one of the, the best Mercado teams in the game versus NYSL. And a big part of that was attaching Cami. They're just going to need all of it, man, especially after that first time. What do we hear? They're like, was it Cami and Vance were kind of frying coming into the event? Like, they were playing real well. You're going to need, we know Vance has been at times all over the place. Look at like one of the best subs in the games and other times struggling. You see it in the stat line there, but like they need him. They need him in a big way. You lose, it is done. The champ story is over. Already one team eliminated. Not, not what we really expected. It's already been nuts here on day two, but uh, look at the records and the stats across this Mercado. Joe, we get amped and primed for map two. I mean, you saw it there. I mean, Rockstar, they put it 11 times. Boston Breach, two and two. But honestly, yearly stats don't really matter with these two teams. Lots right. of different roster iterations, players to bring in, different roles. Here we go, map number two. Well, right back to it. Cami, adios, beans. Right into it here on the round one. Now to Snoopy's POV. See maybe what angle he's able to find so close to finding the timing. Maybe he needs one more bullet, but then can't get out. You have the three versus two, though. About 60 seconds on the clock as players start to reposition. It's a big gunfight. Thought Attach maybe had it. Awakening able to take it. Now puts Vance by himself. Down. And I love that from Boston. After that first blood from Beans, every single time there was a challenge, there was a second player there. There was no one-on-ones. It was always a two versus one. Snoopy, he would have probably loved that kill, but Awakening was looking over him. Awakening, he shifts. They hit the back alley flank with Kremp, able to find another kill, just playing together. The teamwork on point, but you are seeing the impact of the sniper. We saw it at Major 5 with NYSL, with Skies, what he was able to do. The threat of it on this map is so important. Dude, Snoopy's POV was so frustrating. Like, it, every time he, like, just jumped forward to, like, narrow that angle a little bit, he was just out of sight and finally had the chance. But, yeah, it, it all worked out. Big wake with two in the round. And it looks like a fast B hit. Now, you've got a quick rotation over from Cami, but the only person really here right now is going to be Fame. He's trying to play his life. As he is stunned up, the utility coming in. I thought maybe we retreating into dark, but he's just going to play from the dumpster for now. Yeah, he now, was wrapping all the way back is attached. He was so good here in this position yesterday versus the subliners. I mean, multiple rounds where he had a couple of kills if they worked over towards B. Has attached looking over him, just trying to wait for any info. The doors being open, left, right. Where is the challenge to come into? Beans with the first blood, but fame is there. Now just trying to finesse and play his life. Yeah, he thought about it for a second, but yeah, Chow can be very, very tough, but he plays his life beautifully. What a play from fame just to back it up into the alley. Make the overaggression come out of breach and then win the fight. Vance has got Daddy Pop, not a whole lot left in the tank. We'll see how far he can get behind this, but he's got to slow it down now. Now, Bomb watching the flank, so a lot of time still to work with. Now it's going to start awakening to go for it. Fame, he does have Daddy. Does he spot him? Doesn't look like it. Bomb being planted. Bean's trying to just get back to his teammate, but you can see the timings, and well, that should be a kill for Vance. Now one versus two, one versus one, big wait. Versus Bance. Bance, no daddy. He's just lurking right below him. 20 to go. Gunfighting coming. Here we go. Comes spreading, big wait, takes it. Wins the one versus two. An awakening just individually playing at a, such a high level. This is what we want to see from this man. Demon Joe, as we like to call him. That's what I call you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. But I mean, this guy can just play at such a high level. We haven't seen it that much this year, but so far at Champs, he's bringing it. Yeah, I mean, if that's correct in that situation, or sorry, sorry, maybe in that situation you have the daddy to work with, Maybe a little more manageable, but yeah, as you said, Vance, just nothing to work with. But Wake now up to 4 0. He'll be the lone man here. Like we saw Fame playing on the other side of it. Look at this rotation so quick from Boston. They didn't really see much over at A, so it's three man rotation over towards the B site for now. And that is the right call. Vance now with the daddy. He would have loved to have that about 10 seconds ago, but right. 
That's Call of Duty for you. Race the window, trying to find the angle. Gonna fly on through. Absolutely finds the first blood. Snoopy trying to hit the trade. Not gonna happen. I get him off the bomb, so no plank could be through. Three on two, though, for Rocker. You need this round. You need it badly. You got one lurk in mid-map for Breach. He's been tagged up. Just kind of locked in by a Tash right now. Yeah, they probably able to would love to push him, but they just don't know where Beans is quite yet. That's the problem. We're just going to play the two on three. Play towards this site. 35 seconds to go. Attach is watching the flank. But so it's a two on two on the site right now. Not anymore. One drops. Beans trying to finesse. Can't be to deal with up top. It's just such a difficult gunfight. Just praying for a little bit of aim assist there. He's able to get the kill. Final player pushes though. And Rocker get the round win. Just too many on the side of Rocker. Yeah, nice round there from Bands, just right from the get-go. Uses the dead, he finds that first blood. Anytime there was pressure, the trades were there for Rocker. It comes down to a one-on-one -on -one with what? I think about 18 seconds left, but Attach was there for the reach out. Well, I mean, good job. I can't make it stay alive as long as he did. Like, mm -hmm. I, you know, you think from, it took about the whole clip, it felt like to take him down. Oh, it did. <laughs> yeah, he had to reload, <laughs> yeah. But much needed for Rocker to get right back into the game, try to build some momentum up. Beans once again with the sniper in him. Saw him do it on the defensive end. We'll see what he can do here on offense, but they strike early. Trep, Snoopy, combined to take down one, try to hop up top, not gonna work, and Cammy's able to go big, so he gets two. They go two for two on either side. And now into this 2v2 we go. Just give me a little peek on that head. Sees it for a moment. Tagged up, though. The beam's there from Cammy. Cammy, all three in the round so far. Playing for the ace. Crimp, 1v2. Yeah, he had some great individual plays through the middle of the map last time we saw him yesterday versus New York. Now going to try to clutch on up, but nice back-to-back -back setup here for Fame and Cammy. Can Cammy find that ace? The double challenge there. A nice snap. Yo. But Fame there with the trade, the yeah. headshots. Yeah, Cammy yeah. was thinking ace, but Cammy got put the yeah, put down. That was a snap. Here we can see though, Fame though, right there for the child, jumps on top of the hedge. But yeah, maybe if Beans is able to hit a shot, they could turn that into something, but just the movement on point for Cammy. Yeah, he only got really one opportunity, right? One little flick, saw the head for a moment, and then Cammy probably sees the barrel, saw the shot, just wall bangs him right through the window. But really, I mean, Cammy probably just at the block in the two kills early. Just keeping them that 2v2, really the big thing. So where we saw kind of a wake plane solo by B this time, it's kind of an A stack defensively. Well, they threw nades over this round, Minnesota. So they threw nades over towards A, maybe keeping them honest. You still have two players. They are not an early rotation, but this site worked last time for Rocker, so going to go right back to it. I mean, if anything, you've got a much bigger advantage, it feels like, this time around. The presence just starting to come into it, where the rotation was so fast from Breach last time. Maybe you give yourself a better shot at a four-on-four four retake this time, Awakening able to pick him up bomb. Before you can get scoped, you are dropped. Cammy not letting Beans get anything done with that sniper. It's Big King Cammy again. C-Bomb going nuts. Snoopy yet to find a kill in this map so far. Kremto able to find the snipe on the ground, able to connect, so now a two on two. Able to spot him, both Vazes in hand, and here we go. We know how difficult this is to do, and Hardpoint doesn't really matter. Snoopy gonna jump on up, but Bance is ready for it. It just takes so long to mantle up. We're doing this react. again! Oh, oh for one! Ah, but still another player to deal with it is the madness. Oh, in Sue's inside, just craziness. We'll see it then from Bantis POV, able to get the angle. There's been chances for maybe some ludicrous clutches, but not really. It's like the next rocker player has been there. I mean, you're seeing the, the talent out of Kremp, though, right? Just no, a couple of rounds. Some yeah, of his snaps are yeah. insane. Yeah, it's like the actual like shooting, you know, all these all these guys shoot straight. But some of some of the snaps, bro, like it, it looks a little bit different sometimes. One POV to the next. This guy's entering with a sniper, he just dives with the oh, pistol. Hit oh. Yeah, just been, oh. oh my god! Bats came out of nowhere! Why wow, you scared me? Peekaboo, it's fancy 
Bree Poo. Two versus four for Breach. Now all that was going on. Tremto is going to pop Daddy. Maybe a play going to be made here. Is he going to check this spot? Oh, he's going to get spotted, attached, not going to allow anything to happen. Awakening now left in a one on four. And I'll tell you what, props to Minnesota because Beans has had a couple of chances. Obviously, the hit marker, that doesn't that help hurts, him. Yeah. Like, but hasn't been as clean with the snipe. Like and bullet penetration through a plant or something there. <laughs> I don't know. Strong plants. Rocker, rocker and rolling now. Is they're taking the edge of this search to destroy? Look at a rifle back after getting a hundred point club in that map one. Oh, oh it's just the corner there. I thought it was like through the ivy. Like, on it. It's like all right, well. Strong vegetation. What, two rounds? It was 2 0, four rounds in a row for Rocker since that start. So nice adjustments for them. Shutting down Snoopy as well. He's up to 0 6. And this is sort of what I was talking about, though, like the map one to map two, just like the change of pace. Like, you know, you fry so much if you're Snoopy in that first map, if you're beans, like the whole team. It, it's just, I don't know, one of the beautiful things about COD just completely changes. Well, here's the change. I mean, the success of B, you have a 2-2 split right now. I mean, that window is strong, does get broken, though. That's all right. You know, Bans just waking himself up, a little stunned to his own noggin. Everyone in here is like, oh, well, if the pros do it, I can definitely do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've needed myself more in this game than any other guy combined. <laughs> can be a few to deal with, and just a couple tags, and we'll back up for now. Bans on four in a row. Beans now hits the snipe. Finally able to get something going with that. Throw on the crossover. There are two. I love it there. They're moving on point. The drop shot in from Bans. Six in a row now. Oh, Beans, you want some of this Bans dance? Oh, He's team. ready for you. It's Fancy Poo. He's on the prowl looking for the ace, but the teammate picks it up and Rocker with another round. You think this is like a Beans hard counter because like Bans is from the UK and he has Beans for breakfast? Could be. Yeah, the Could Americans be. don't, but maybe Bans does. Bans is hungry. Seven in a row for Bance. Just hanging out. Now has the cruise missile as well to utilize and put this map away. Tie the series up one, or two, one apiece. I think I hear a we want sensor chant. Ah, screw it. Toss him in. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'm line up this Why not? Let's, let's go. go. Yeah. Can he enter this place on a jet ski? He's probably got like a jet ski attached to a, like a four-wheeler, dude. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. This guy's twisted. It's like a James Bond vehicle. I don't know. Let's see it work. Bats with the streak in. He's gonna take us for a ride. Where are we, we going? Go. Where are we going? Tora Mercado! And looking for the back door. Hits a, like, clipped on the edge of the roof, maybe? Not gonna no, be able to no, try to connect through. Oh, there. what's it there? Oh, okay, yeah, okay. No, I didn't see from that angle. Yeah, trophies eat giant missiles in this game. I mean, it blew up so high, I didn't think it was the trophy. Yeah, who knows, man? The uh, advanced technologies, Joe. Kremp again, just lurking on through towards B. Every time he gets a dead, he was trying to make the play. Last time spotted, this time not going to happen. Finds the first blood on attached. He's thinking, how the hell is this guy here? But Kimmy fights on back in Boston. That's bomb down. They have to plant this. Fame with another one. Doesn't matter after the first blood rocker. Tied up at one. And you go down, what, 0-2, then rip off six straight. Six straight. You just dominate from that point forward. The adjustments were there. Vance got hot. And a lovely win there from Rocker to tie us up at 1-1. One, one. But that's exactly what you needed. And I mean, whatever attaches on a stage, you feel like a comeback is possible. That guy's done some stuff. Vance, though, 11 in the map. Might have been more than he had. And then Snoopy, 0 oh, and 8. We've had a well, couple of donuts. Map one, probably. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was saying. 0 oh, and 8 from Snoopy there. First donut on the main stage. Probably not going to be the last. We've all been there. Well, I mean, accuracy happened yesterday. And they came out, obviously, with an impressive win today. Yeah, it'll happen. It's just, you know, hey. The question though is like when you, you know when you have some like accuracy it happens too. I guess I have no doubt in my mind you'll kind of brush that off. Maybe a little bit harder to do when you're a rookie. Maybe in your head a little bit more. Yeah, maybe. I mean that's what uh, the coaching staff, his teammates. You know we we fried map number one. We're going back to a respawn. We have dominated control versus Minnesota on the year. We got to get right back to that.
Well, we'll see if they can get right back to it. Tied up one one. We got control coming up next. Thank you so much for watching here and at home. We'll be right back after the break. Obviously, Champs has been lit so far, but it would not be a COD event if it wasn't for the Passion Pit. Challengers is already live and ready to go. We've got group stage action all day today between the 16 total squads across all four regions of Challengers who have made it to this point. Tomorrow, we'll get out of the groups and go straight into the playoff bracket. And then, of course, Sunday, for the first time, we are going to have Challengers Champs on the main stage. So it's dense. There's a lot of people already hanging out. The action's going to get real hot, real passionate. So make sure you're tuning in on twitch.tv slash Call of Duty Bravo. And of course, make sure you show up early for Sunday for Grand Finals. Challengers all week long, baby. You know how it is.
here in Las Vegas, the Challengers action, as you saw now at the Thomas and Max Center, we get prepped and ready to go into this map three. Rocker, answer back in the map two. Ty is up at 1-1. One, one. Benjamin Vance going huge with the seven streak there in the map two, but control, we'll, uh, we'll see. This is, uh, this is gonna be an interesting one for who's gonna take the edge here at 2-1. Yeah, well, see, I mean, you know, you're going to see the records and you're going to see, uh, yeah, I think it's like 11 and 7 for Minnesota. And you're like, oh, that's not bad. But uh, they're 1 and 7 in the last eight. They started the year 10 and 0 on this map. Since then, only won one in their last eight. So, yeah, we'll see if they can bounce back here on the other side for Boston. You know, they were a solid hotel control team. We talked about that, but then they get fried 3-0 yesterday. So who the hell knows? Yeah, no, they again, we're going to say it kind of a good amount over the course of this, that when you look at the year-long stats of these two teams, it's really hard to take a whole lot away from it. It's going to be a lot more about recency bias and how your performance has gone recently. As we check out Attach and Beads, this is control for this season and how they have looked. A 1.2 there for Beans. He's been putting up. Yeah, he absolutely has. And then, you know, Attach always plays very well. The Gunny on point. You see the non-traded kill percentage. Always it'll be a little bit higher for your ARs playing yeah. those different positions. I don't know if we're going to get five offensive round wins like we uh, did last match, but I'll take a couple. Yeah, I think you kind of see it there. You know, when Attach was originally benched, his pacing was talked about a good bit, whether it was too slow, whether he should play faster. I think he said like the coaching staff was kind of telling him to play a little bit slower. And like you kind of see it looks like the engagement's a little bit different. Beans definitely plays with a bit more of an aggro style. That sure does him an awakening. Be such a tough duo to fight against. But here we go. Map number three underway. Pivotal. As the series is tied up one apiece. Who is going to move on? Who is going to go home? And as I said, the thing not bad for Minnesota. 11 and 7. But again, 1 in 7 in their last save. Well, for Boston Breach, this has been a standard a go to a 10 and 4. I mean, that was, was it LSELO control where all the drama started early in the year with them? <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, it seems so, so long ago. But into the map three we go, and Snoopy trying to find information here mid-map. I think an important round for him, maybe to just get that gunny going again, like we saw from map one. Oh, and eight in map number two. Oh, oh well, well, stop shooting there. Is Fade going to find it? That's sort of like the opposite of probably what you want. Yeah, no, it was exactly there. the opposite, yeah. Yeah, like free kill and then not, not so free. He gets right back off Swan though and picks up one. So we'll keep an eye on how he does this map. Just a rookie trying to get going off of an 0-8 map two. Crowd get going a little bit behind Bean's little snapper there as he was hit down to 4 HP. And this is what we saw with Seattle and LA, right? I mean, it was just so many opening B hits and the offensive team was winning it. Now this point is done. You have a chance to push top hill, work the spawn kills, two minutes to work with. Boston already in a very strong position. Right, it was just all offense in the last series. It was absolutely incredible to watch that play out. We had a weird Asilo yesterday as well that we casted. Beans desperately trying to get eyes on the player below him, but just not happening. Now trying to reposition over the top. Team oh, able this to pick is scary. Up one. Now the shot's starting to hit. Three will drop onto the point, make it four. Good position for Breach to close it out right here. Yeah, he's got no ammo. He's just got a snipe out. He's got a trophy down, so. He's going to try to play his life with three players on it. Minnesota, they have to go. The second tick already in. When is the challenge going to come? It's going to be here in time. The SMGs, they yeah. find two. Attach with the third, so you are still alive in the round. But already, so much work done for Boston. Yeah, I mean, hell of a retake, but exactly. So much damage has been done. You've got to basically be perfect from this point forward, because you allow any other three or four down scenario where there's any kind of stack and you're getting smoked, this one is done. That's going to be two down. Now maybe the opening. Cami going to have to go big here with his teammate to try and hold. There's multiple coming off the spawn. Should be able to get some damage in on the cross. It's going to be Vance is able to do it. Cami will find his kill. Three down once again. Rocker up to the task. Yeah, and I thought this round was potentially over right there. I mean, you had fame in the base. You had attached. He was able to get taken down, awakening at now in the tower. Maybe this is the chance. Is Boston going to be on the point, putting no pressure through bar, just leaving it, going right over towards the arch side. Snoopy does get taken down, beats there for the trade. Another retake for Minnesota. They are hanging on by a thread, and that's going to be all four dead. Yeah, that thread is just, it feels like getting thinner and thinner, but they've done just enough to continue to hold. Now taking a bit of a different angle here, wrapping around the other side, the all on onslaught, not gonna be the case. They know they got one more real crack at this, trying to make sure they develop this as best they can. 
<laughs> nice win from Krimp. Can be deleted. 20 to go. Another win there from Beans. Attack, can't quite finish it. Can't finish either. Beans able to go big. The only person who gets the kill is going to be Cammy on the other side. On to the point. Go Boston. And it took, what, like four more hits after they got down to that final tick, but they're able to do it, John. I, I think the issue for Minnesota, I mean, great retakes for them, but the opening kills were never there, right? You never had that player in bar finding a kill or two, top window finding a kill. Just, you know, the subs being annoying in the base of, of Boston. Boston always found that initial that allowed them to get their push through middle of the map. That's usually the toughest part about a sealer control on offense. As soon as there's a sub in your face, good luck, it is difficult. It felt like one of those times you watch a deep play hardpoint and they're breaking so well but can't hold a single thing. Like, <laughs> what should be easier, they just were not able to do. Vance, though, he is continuing off of his nice map, too. I know they lose that first round, but he goes eight and five, leading the way for his team. Maybe a confidence booster there in the search to destroy. And why not? Let's go B right off the start. Everyone else is doing it. It's been working. And Boston deal with the first push. Maybe with Snoopy's first blood, they should. Catch with some nice beams. It's just funny for so long. It was, hey, 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 right? B, the final site to get. It has been shifted here at Champs. I mean, every now and then you, you threw it, your first push over towards a more difficult site to capture, but. Today has been an anomaly, but it looks like Boston holding on, and that is due to Snoopy four off the start. Tatch just trying to stay up. His nades hitting from everywhere, and eventually he falls. The Vance trying to get out to Tower Hill with an AR in hand. Oh. Now that nade just right in his pocket. Beautiful toss there from Beans. And this is the issue when you go B and it does not work early, right? You spend so much time and now there's only 20 seconds left. To try and work this A zone, Boston going to shift on over and they're absolutely going to play with it. But that first kill I talked about, Kremp, he gets taken down by Bands. Maybe that's the opening that Minnesota needs. Cammy with a follow up. Bands looking for the angle, just the smoke from the nades, making it so tough to actually get a line of sight on. Attacho finding another. Bench is finding this angle through. More progress today. Halfway to that third bit. That'll be done. Extra minute put on, minute 22 now to work with. The Snoopy's getting kills mid-map, and you look to layer this now if you're a rocker. Yeah, Boston thought about maybe trying to go for that retake, but the nades were on point for Minnesota. There was no trophy down. So you're gonna have one player pushed up over towards white. That's gonna be awakening. Dealing with the players off of spawn, trying to push them over towards that A side of the map. Where is the push going to come through? It looks like it's going to come through lockers for Minnesota. Tatch is going to find the first. You have one player sneaking around in their base. That's going to be Snoopy trying to find a kill. But the push, the push is on towards his teammates. So it's on to Awakening and Snoopy for now. They at least find one kill does Awakening, but his teammates, nowhere to be found. They're still trying to hunt out Awakening. That's Vance has been trying to find him. Halfway to that second bit of progress. Beans with a nice win in the backside of it. You still have Cami, who's on that point. Awakening gets another kill. Wins a big one versus Bans on the far side of it. So stays alive for that collective pinch. I mean, it's great, but you give up two ticks, right? It's just difficult once you get put in that position. Nice job by Beans. Nice patience to find that kill onto Attach. I mean, if Attach finds that one, that might be the round done. And see in the top right. The entire team for Boston on a spree right now. Slaying well, 25 seconds to go. You have a couple of players pushed on up for Minnesota, but Kremp just lurking, trying to hunt down Rocker. So a little time to go. Let's we'll see if anybody can get there. Nobody close. You have to win some insane fights if you're going to make the push, and you've still got the Beans who's waiting deep. Another one drops, make it two, both will fall. Nobody close outside of Fame, who might be able to get out of the point for a second, but then good luck, you should get swarmed. The trade is in, it's another round for Breach. First defensive round win of the day here on LSILO. Yeah. They do get two ticks, but some pivotal fights. By Beans and then Awakening just, I mean, playing his life and sometimes, it can be a little bit detri detrimental when your teammates are dying. It's just sort of like you're just being ignored. But when he, his teammates are finding those kills, it kind of puts them to have to go over towards Awakening. He was playing his life. We see it so often, whether it's like 
you know, getting pushed up towards the green or getting pushed up like towards hillside on the other end of it, like what value can you find? How many heads can you turn? How annoying can you be? Seemed a little scary for a moment. Oh, that nade comes through. That should get the kill. Vance gets deleted, but the nade on point. Nice snap there from Snoopy. Trying to work back into it after the goose egg in that map, too. So far, so good. The team with the 2-0 edge. Yeah, Bean's able to find fame again. Finding that first sub in your base. And now Snoopy's just going to try to play for players off of spawn. You have one player on B, so just pausing that clock and well times it well. Able to find Fame. Who knew he was coming up off spawn? Finds that kill. You have Cammy working the pinch, working the flank, but can they find Vance and attach? Trades going down over towards that B zone, but they are favoring Boston right now. Cammy able to get one. The beeps are there. Actually takes down a second, but the angle from Beans will drop him. Now to Fame's POV we go. Just all the utility soaring through him and trying to get away with his life. 45 now on the clock. B looks like it should be done. Seems like you're probably giving that up if you are a rocker. You've got to. Now, how does this transition go for Breach? How do you deal with it if you're a rocker? Who's on hill? That's going to be Bans. It's kind of working to maybe make the pinch through. Yeah, this time, though, attach. Able to find that first kill. You have radio tower control. Can you get your teammates out of the spawn? It looks like Fame, he's going to be safe for now. Bans. And he's also going to be able to win that. I thought maybe he was going to have a sub, but here we go. To two versus two right now. But Attach has been so crucial in these moments, but he's going to be the last player alive. Just trying to buy time. Well, he's doing that good job of that. Is Cammy able to get back into it? Beans, though, the tags at long range are there. Plus five for him at 14 and nine. Now you've got a minute to work with. You have a slight live's edge as well. Awakening and Beans just cutting them through on the... Cross on spawn. It's got to be frustrating if you're a rocker just trying to get through. Now you'll be spawning out the other side due to awakening's position. And see how you get back into the action if you were Cammy. That's like, do you want to leave him? Take the th three on four. Looks like they're trying to hunt him down again. So, going to put him back on the respawn timer. Here comes the push. 40 seconds left. Awakening just trying to find anything that he can. There is the setup. Trying to buy time. Was it enough? Oh, well, Bantz with the knife, able to just finesse and play his life. But again, it is down to attach and Cammy off his of spawn. Yeah, Cammy, this might be the first time he's gotten near the objective in the last minute of gameplay. They both combined to take him out. Bantz, attach on the feet. Five in a row now for attach. I thought maybe number six, but nope, Snoopy. Digs him an early grave. Progress is there for Boston. Cammy, finally, he gets back Whoa. into that mix. He says, hola. Cammy is here. The triple through. Not quite able to get the fourth, but after that frustrating sequence you had for Cammy, he just pops off on the point. Nine versus nine, the lives department. Fame gives Rocker the edge. They got to get the hold here. It's a map win for Breach. It's looking good so far. Snoopy able to get pushed on up, and well, now that is two dead. Two dead for Rocker. Bezo onto the point. He does get cut down, but Snoopy able to find two. That's going to be all four. That might be the map. 1.3 on the clock. It's surging quickly with the stack, and the map is done. Breach, come out and get the 3 0. I don't know what is going on today. But teams are having a tough time on defense. Real tough time, yeah. Like, it has just been a nightmare. I mean, you have, you have a good job. Just kind of getting them pinned back. I mean, I think mean, you see the frustration for Cammy. Yeah, like, I got three, then what happened? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> and before that, like, he was just in the cycle. Like, just couldn't really get back to the actual play. It was either Awakening or Beans getting shots at him on cross, I think, three or four times, just trying to get back to help his team. He got cut down. But now you take the lead 2-1. You've taken both of the respawns. If you are breach, a chance to close it out with a third respawn on the map four. But statistically, it ain't really pop off the page for each other. I mean, not much. I mean, pretty even across the board. Obviously, Fame 12 and 21. And I just think there were some moments for him where he was pushed up bar. Maybe if he finds that initial kill, right, you get pushed up towards that dumpster. He could be the annoying sub in the base of the attackers. But it just never really happened. I, I guess you just have to give 
props to the Boston team because it was the opposite. Every time they got pushed up, yeah, you, you were you know, finding the spawn kills, give yourself back control. I don't, think, I don't think Rocker had that once, right? Like where you actually just got pushed up defensively, made it so that you kind of have to win two big fights if you're going to get any kind of progress. Like it was always just like they were playing defense from so deep. You got two or three kills and you were getting objective progress, like every time. Just little by little, they tear them down. As Breach do it, I mean, I, I think we thought either team obviously could win this particular matchup, but Breach coming out and pressing thus far. Now here is the end, the end of that third round. Vance thought maybe just buying enough time, but Snoopy with that one spawn kill and then allows himself for the pinch. Yeah, Gammy behind this three-piece. This is when they finally got pushed up, right? This is where you saw Fame over towards Kex, and he's given the comms. All right, they're all working towards that flank. Gammy is able to find the first, but then the kills come in. You deal with the player. Who was that? That was Bantu dies at the tower, and I think that's the key play. Because that player at the tower, we know how annoying that is to deal yeah. with. Yeah. And as soon as he gets taken down, that opens up so many angles for the offensive team. Being the passion on the main stage. He is fired up. You saw it in the map one as well. They're close. One more map and they continue on this loser's bracket. Some frustrations there from fans. He is animated after that map. You see, he is pissed with how that one played out. I mean, it looked like a frustrating map from just to play from that side. Like, it did not look like they were having a whole lot of fun. Yeah, but there's the ARs, Beans 19 and 12, Awakening 17 and 11. And just props to their offense is just right from the get-go, capturing that B point, knowing how to execute over towards A, keeping those players trapped in the spawn. Minnesota Rocker could not deal with it. We're back, right back to a hard point. You know, he talked about Bant being a little ticked off. He's known for in-between math, settling down, doing his breathing exercises. You need that here. Yeah, I mean, that was a big thing for him, obviously, when he was on the Ultra team. Now, can he reel it in, get refocused? Get ready for map four, though. We're going to take a look at some of the breach hardpoint stats sort of leading into this major. This is since stage four. You know, there's been a lot of team changes, so keeping a little bit more recent. It's not been good. I'll tell you what was good, though. There's today. Uh, they, you know, they win the first map 250 to, to 87 on that fourth. Smoke them. And the respawns have been dominant out of Boston Breach. Can they get that here? They do it once again, and I mean, I think, uh, yeah, some bracket busters potentially for a lot of a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think like, listen, Rocker got top three the last major, but I don't, I don't think any of us were convinced they were necessarily equivalent to a top three team. They, they beat a couple teams, maybe they should. They lost some, they got smoked by teams they probably shouldn't beat. There was a bit of a question mark, I think, for both these teams. Like the potential we know is there for Boston. When the gunning is hot, they can turn that a little more objective. Like we know the talent is there. Like they can be absolutely twisted. We heard the expectations by the man on your screen in Snoopy. I think a lot of people picking Rocker just, I mean, partially the top three, partially they've been playing better than they have really all year. You have the champs experience, but I don't know, this was a coin flip. Yeah, who the hell knows? Yeah, this was a coin flip. Because as much as you're like, the roster change comes in for Breach like right before the event, I mean, you had what? A couple weeks of practice with Attach back in the lineup too. Hey, both these teams probably still trying to figure out some things and it's not usually uh, champs time when you want that to be the case where you're trying to figure out some strategies to how you want to deal with certain situations if you're a squad. But we'll see if we get to a map five or it will all end here. Breach looking to close this one out, Sin. This rocker squad home. Can Minnesota get going in a respawn, right? Maybe just have one of those big performances out of a player like Attach or Fame. There's going to be three a dead as Minnesota with a nice start here. Oh, Maven forgot to turn the screen on. Oh, Sorry. is that what that was? I yeah. was like, I was like, everyone's going crazy. What happened? We have a screen. That makes sense. That's my bad, guys. We get right back to the action. As teams go two for two. So far, Rocker in control. I thought like a villain or somebody walked out of the main stage. I didn't really know what happened. Minnesota with some nice time, able to flip the spawns as well, but that's gonna be too dead. Not when you wanna die right before the next hill pops. Make that three beans. 
popping off here, looking for number six and the crews. Bans just lurking, trying to play his life. They have an idea of his position. They know where Minnesota Rockers are going to push on through from. Let's see if he can keep this streak going. Get shouldered oh. for a second, like shouldered close. Then the chow from deep. Nice little double peek there from Rocker. Fame just gets a second behind that. Must have snapped on the second give him three. My man is eating four in a row now for Fame. In a big break there, he keeps cruising, make it five. Fame, woo! Trying to make a name for himself on this stage. Can run the AR, he can run the submachine gun, does not find number six. So both teams with an opportunity to find a cruise missile. But on this rotation over to P3, I mean, Bantz has just been hanging out for some time now. He's gonna have a lot of players to deal with though. You can see Boston going all the way through towards bedroom, towards dinner, back plat. Getting ready for the guys. He's been sitting here chilling, just cooking up a feast. And uh, now he's gotta get the gunny hot though. And there's everything soared at him. You saw for the third person POV, just the stuns, the nades coming in. Vance able to avoid everything, just find the kitchen counter, trying to get a reload in, but the swarm is here. That's two through for Boston thus far. Nice little snap there from Cammy though. Yeah, and now it's up to attach. Now it's a one versus one. Both teams off a of spawn. Fame trying to hit the side door. Attach trying to follow up his teammates, but Kremp able to hold on alongside of Awakening. Yeah, he's got that close backside spawn. They're just in to reinforce so, so quickly. Attach doesn't have a chance, but about to be a tie game. We're looking at 58 58 score line, 20 seconds remaining on this hard point. Rocker getting ready for the rotation and finding the kills mid map as the breach players try to leak out for position. You'll see two are gonna spawn bottom left though. New hard point about to pop. And I mean, without that fame play on the P2, because it's very similar to this, right? Where you had the early rotation, <laughs> but Boston broke so soon at P2, but fame was the, the reason they're in this game right now. I don't know how he won the second one. Like we weren't on his POV, but that first gunfight when he chopped from the back steps, yeah, that was, he did something nasty to him. Well, there's gonna be two dead. Beans was able. Get taken down, Snoopy snapping on the trophies. Kremp though, get out of here. They're gonna find that opener, but now it's Fame again, trying to get Rocker back in. No trophies down for Boston. That will be three dead. Fame, another big sequence. Leading the lobby right now at 11. Natasha's just holding on to the ledge here. Finding a cheeky angle as he's getting kills. Three in a row for him. Trying to look over his teammate. The free fire coming through. Running out of ammo. Just trying to dodge, dip, and dive and stay up for a moment. He's just shooting everything. All those walls, just screw those walls. And I don't know if this is sort of Boston's game plan here, but I, I mean, they have not had a rotation yet. They have just been trying to break every single hill. Maybe they just trust their gunny. They want to play with this confidence, oh. sort of like old face style where you just play behind the brakes. Hotel oh, also could just be like, you know. Well, I mean, I mean, Krebs shooting like that, yeah. he's behind him, okay. that's two, I mean, why not? <laughs> Screw rotations, we're fighting for the scrap time. Let's see what they can do from actually holding, and so far, so good. Beans and Krebs once again, lighting up the feed, gunning up down, taking control of the point. How far out can they push this lead? Ah, oh, God, just some of these gunfights, some of these key one-on-ones. The SC Breach starting to win them. Some moments reminding you of that map one. Yeah, I get it. If it wasn't, it wasn't for some of the fame plays. Who knows what this scoreline is? And what, Beans is on five in a row again. Was not able to find the crews last time through. Can he do it this time? That would allow them to break P6. Could turn this into a massive lead. Still trying to find it. I would love him if a teammate was with him, but it doesn't matter. Now behind that, has the cruise missile. Uh, Beans does what he wants, Joe. Yeah, he's doing what he wants right now. 16 and seven on the map. Still have to deal with Cammy on the hill. Control and kitchen alongside Krem. There's going to be the break, but now just trying to play his life. He's got people all around him. Can he get one more? Not going to happen. Three through now for Rocker. 40 point advantage to Breach. His awakening lining him up at range. Here comes the streak. Will he find any value? Just kind of keeping them inside for a bit, making sure they can't wrap out and apply pressure, but you haven't had anybody in the hard point. The person that's going to get the hard point is going to be Bance, who won a one-on-one -on, -one on the other side, and he's just going to hop right on into it. So you get the streak to come out. It's led to no time. 
chipping away at this lead is Rocker. Yeah, interesting play there. I mean, he gets the call out. All three players are inside a kitchen. I thought they were just going to flood bedroom, trying to deal with fans, but that doesn't happen. They try to go through mid through hot tub, and they get cut down. So if you are Rocker, only down by 15 after the first rotation, you take this all day. But can their guns get hot? Did they deal with this? Hey! And Snoopy is smacking them in the back. Oh, they enticed it. Just laying them out. It'll be two in a row for him. The fists are hitting. Can the bullets get there too? Just comes out the shot of the back alley. That's not going to work. To the chaos of the central point we go. Nobody in for now, and it's going to be tough to maintain. But these first hard points in the second rotation can be so crucial. A better chance to lock up some massive time. And right now, Rocker trying to do exactly that. They were down 15 going into it. Kind of sticking that way. Now listen, we listened to Breach through that first map. It's Rocker that are up against it now. They've got to get a map win to push it to a map five to a rocker. Listen it. We go. What is Bricks? Get big. I have big. I have big. Yeah. Get big. You have right. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. I saw me. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. They're going to spawn kitchen. They're going to spawn kitchen. They're going to spawn Yeah, okay. There you go, Tim. Is someone got time? Yeah. Okay. We're pushed up both sides. I can back up. I can back up. Not spawn. They could get P4, guys. I can call out, though. Yo, they're they're not bullying me over here. They know where I am. They know where I am. Uh, you could, you could. Oh, I'm, I'm watching big stuff. I got one. There's, there's nice. a guy broken. There's a guy broken. Okay. I'm saying okay. I'm 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 I don't know where the guy broken is. I don't know where the guy broken is. Jump the YouTube. Okay. Two the back. I'm crossing the bank. I need help. Maybe I'm broken. 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 I'm you got me oh, weak, we crumble this up. They're just gonna come yeah, up. Nice. Oh, good. It's finesse still, they're gonna spawn back on you, okay? Oh, we, should we should start rotating, we should start rotating. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. There's two, there's two. One back step, one check in. Wait, uh, Wait no, back step. I have another, I have another. Okay, okay. I don't think anything's out. We'll look for is, uh, Snoopy. Snoopy, 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 I've got a kill, I've got a kill. Okay, I'm coming deep, Ben, I'm coming deep. Let me know when you're talking. Let me know when you're talking. I'll kill this one. Said he had a kill, and there it is. Band's able to pick it up. Now, can they pop off behind this one? The collapse starting to come in. His breach is set up inside. Still, about 15 points separating these two teams. The stun's gonna slow down Bane, getting in position to help, but finally he's able to get there. Still inside will be Crimp, though. The trade there. Crimp going huge beat with one as well. They just held on for now, but the contest is in. Yeah, I mean, this is such a pivotal moment here for Breach. Able to hang on. Bant's able to find that rotation kill, but it does not matter. Crimp popping off. This is where Minnesota needed clutch on up. All of these players have done it before in their careers. They're going to need to do it one more time. Boston Breach 36 points away from moving on. And with this scrap time, they're going to be ever so close from eliminating Rocker. It, it's some of the utility use. I mean, you know, you try to just collapse on this, hit it all at once. The stun's slowing people up. Not able to just, like, hit every doorway at once and collapse. And it was slowed down just enough that Breach were able to deal with it. And how close are they now? 2.30 up on the board. Next hard point. Ready to pop. Rocker inside. They have to find something deep dig deep here for the comeback there's so few points needed now for breach and on cribs pov he's been hit by everything in the kitchen sick but it's big wake demon joe i swear to god if he would have won any there i mean this has just been it i mean minnesota have not been able to hold on it's been the break after break from boston that are putting them in a position to eliminate Rocker. Five more seconds needed. Attach trying to do what he can. Up to 25 and 18. Awakening still going, but it feels like Minnesota okay for now, but they're going to have to rotate. That's going to be the key. Does someone maybe play for the scrap time? Is Boston just going to commit to rotation? That is going to be the play call. It's these moments where heroes are made. So many clutch moments. For a player like Attach on Rocker, can you bring it back? Just five points needed for Breach. Breach going to be set up inside. New hard point, here we go. Second by second, it's getting dangerous. Attach is able to get a kill in the entry. The trade is there, the map is done. Breach sends up packing with a big win on the main stage. Break after break after break. The gunny was just there, and it was there all series, bro. I mean, how many times throughout that map was Minnesota, even in the listening, right? They're at P2. They did a much better job, that one, than the first, but they're always the first team there.
And even on that P3, when Vance finds that initial kill, I think that was uh, a key moment, a chance for Rocker to get back into the game. It was Awakening and Kremp able to hold on, but the ARs for Boston Breach shut it down. What Cami was around, double negative, not a great game for him. And I think that's why Boston can be a threat, just because, like, you know, all year, you said at the very beginning of the match, like, the talent has been there, the kills have been there. It's just been turning it into points to actually win maps, where their hard point struggles have been. Like, it's been close losses. You're putting up 220 on a map on average and just losing, like, not able to find the ice in the big moments. But when they went up, they held on and closed it out. And map one, never allowed for that comeback potential to happen for Rocker, never allowed for any sort of insanity like we've seen on that map. And here it's a close one. But again, they just don't... I kept expecting Rocker to, like, have that surge, that moment where they really tested him. They never really let it happen. Yeah, I mean, you had the fame moment. Attach has been solid, but for me, it's it's the other two. I, I mean, Cammy 15 to 25, he's gonna be very upset about that, even in, you know, that control didn't play the best. Rocker finishes you know, season top eight. And you, Beans, I think, had like 3,400 damage or something. Like, he, from the map one, from the get go, not that every team needs to have like that, that passion guy, that energy guy, but like he has been insane on the main stage. He's so fun to watch. His play has been electric and like when he's playing well, when he is beaming, it feels like he has elevated the rest of his team from an energy standpoint. Yes, you lose the map too, but in the respawns, they were electric. They look like a force. Sometimes the mistakes are gonna cost them, but when you're hitting all your shots, you're winning every fight, it can be absolutely nuts. But speaking of Beans, let's get to our Monster Energy Spotlight. We've got him on stage, Blaze. Beans, take it away, baby. Thank you so much, Mercury ba Maven. Las Vegas, give it up for the Boston Breach as they continue on in this elimination bracket. Beans, let me talk to you about this one, okay? How you feeling after getting that victory right away? I mean, I think it's something we really needed. Uh, you know, we've been going through a bit of a rough patch. Obviously, last two majors have been a bit rough. Um, scrims are rough. Um, and obviously, we just brought Eric in, Snoop, yeah. uh, who's obviously insanely talented, unbelievable player. And uh, so, yeah, I think that means a lot for us going forward. Yeah, now, in this series, the one thing that I can really pinpoint here is that you guys look way better on your respawns there, okay? And those were all the maps in which you won here. What have y'all been doing to really improve that, and how did y'all take these guys down? Um, well, I think, first of all, I've got a big shout-out to Doug Center Martin. Yeah! He's in the, back, he's in the backstage. He's, um, you know, obviously, he can't be playing right now, but um, he's, he's helping us mentally and, you know, with the game and stuff, so big shout-out to, to him. And, and I think, I don't know, I think we just said, look, Play, play fearless, play, you know, just like we're having fun. It's the last tournament. Yeah. Not, no pressure on us, you know. We got top 12, top yep. 12. At least we made it here and we thought, you know, let's just go out and have fun. And we did. Hey, that, and that's what it's all about. Go out here and have fun. Yeah. You know, play every match like it's your last. And, you know, last year, I really want to ask you about the rookies in your team. Crimp, Snoop, okay? Tell me about how they've been evolving series after series here. Good chance. Yeah, I think uh, Carl's come a long way. Obviously, I played with him on, on the academy team as well. And, as a player, he's grown a lot, got you know a lot smarter and, and in a lot of situations. Eric's obviously very raw, very new player, uh, but his talent obviously everyone can see is insane. So insane. he's got a high ceiling. So yeah. All right, any last many shout outs you want to give here to the Boston Breeze uh, fans? A big shout out to the crowd, appreciate it all. Obviously, the Heinz Beans there. Uh, but we're not playing Optic, it's quite fun. You know, the crowd are quite <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, appreciate it all. Give it up for Beans in the Boston Breeze one more time. That's going to do a us on the stage. Chris, take us away. Beans, one of the great characters of the Call of Duty League, celebrating a win, one that none of us predicted correctly here on oh, the we desk. On the day. We've it's got Cloyster, we've it's got Alley Cat, we've got Nameless, all feeling a little bit shocked here. Nameless, I want to start with you, though. What went down here? How sure. does Boston walk away with this victory? Well, they got Fortress Map 1, and that's a map they lost nine straight times. They kicked it off the right way. Kremp had a massive bounce back. Him and Snoopy, the SMGs on the team, absolutely popped off. And then from then on forward, they had a lot of momentum, a lot of power going into the response. We get to that control, an absolute chokehold. Nothing that Minnesota threw at them worked. They could not get mid-map control. The SMGs simply not strong enough on the side of Minnesota to contend. Clayster, after their match against Optic yesterday, Boston comes backstage and they said, we got one, we got one. They were in high high spirits despite the L. Beans mentioning it again, they're coming into this tournament, no pressure after back-to-back 9-12 -back finishes. 
When's the last time you've seen a team like that at COD Champs still in the running with that attitude? There's not very many teams at COD Champs that are playing the way that Boston Breach are playing right now. And the only team that I could think of that even comes close to this was before LA Thieves was LA Thieves, the 100 Thieves run at Black Ops 4 Champs from the losers round one all the way to the grand finals. They played with unrelenting aggression. They kept it pushing at all times and they kept the vibes high. I'm getting some vibes. That's what Thieves. they're trying yeah, to do. That's right. what they're trying to do. That's the start of it right there. Yeah. I think the best point of this as well is the fact that they didn't win that search and destroy, right? Like, that was the only map they were able to take off of Optic yesterday was that map number two. And this is a Boston team traditionally that did really well in the respawns. I think when it came to this matchup, Minnesota just, they couldn't keep up with the slaying. I think, you know, yeah. Boston Breach in that first opening fortress really put their foot down. Snoopy 22 and 15, Kremp 26 and 14, the rookies showing out. And then that LSILO, I mean, the opening B pushes over on the offensive side of things and just winning every single opening gunfight. Minnesota Rocker, unfortunately, Unfortunately, just on the back foot and a lot of the engagements of this series, Dan. I was, Go ahead. I was gonna say, I will say like, you know, it's a bit concerning. They lost a lot of the rotations on that last hotel there. They were just breaking hills left and right. Uh, obviously that's credit to Boston being able to communicate and get through those situations. But at the same time, that's a lot of blunders made by the Minnesota Rockers. So Boston, you can play loose all you want, but you're gonna still have to be tightening it up just a little bit as we move on through this turn. Boston's looking to continue to play spoiler already into your top six. They'll wait and see who falls down to them from that Optic Texas, or sorry, from the Atlanta Toronto matchup. But Jeez. play as we uh, wrap up this battle here, take a look through the numbers. Big Who's wake up. You? Giga. Dude, that's what Ant's been calling him. Nameless Giga. has been calling him Giga Wake oh, for yeah. a long time now. 1.5, 1.55 in the control. And Bean's doing work too. The Doug Sensor Martin pipeline for amateur players yeah. is insane. Three of his teammates are on this this team and they just advance at COD Championships. It's time to take a look at your scuff play of the day. And this one, of course, is our play of the game from the hard point. Alley, a hundred point club to open Ooh. up the series. Boston turning their frags around on day two. Yeah, I don't know if I can agree with this opening map pick by the Minnesota Rocker. Just knowing how aggressive that we've seen from Boston Breach, these SMGs can be when they're on a roll. I mean, it was just masterclass. I, a lot of the gunfights just weren't going the way of Minnesota. Whether it was a rotation, whether it was a break, it was all green in the kill feed throughout this entire map. It was a painful watch. And as we wrap that up, final question I have for you guys is, who's the most improved from day one to day two for the Boston Breach? I'm gonna go with Wake, man. I thought he was way more of a team player today on a lot of the breaks. You know, a lot of people are saying he was simply playing for kills yesterday. Well, it translated to a victory today. I almost wanted to say Snoopy, but he dropped a donut in s and Yeah, in that final yeah. game, he didn't need to shine. Kremp and crew <laughs> did, though, and you can break down all the numbers you want on CallofDutyLeague.com, but the real thing you need to know right now is where we're at in the bracket. Only six teams remain. As we've said goodbye to the LA Thieves, Minnesota Rocker will now be packing their bags as we head back up to the upper bracket next cluster we got phase ultra optic subliners this is gonna get insane tonight oh it's about to get spicy in this building we got two amazing matches from four amazing teams coming up this is about to get down and dirty chat is filling up shout out to everyone tuning in from around the world this is cod champs 2023 and a quick reminder get in on the champs action with the champs bundle fit for a king complete with a new operator skin weapon blueprints and more rule the battlefield and get your 2023 call of duty league champs pack today that's not it stay in the loop by signing up for the call of duty newsletter yeah just like your grandma newsletters for kids receive breaking news event discounts and more just scan the qr code on your screen today we got to go to a break. We go back. It is your top four seeds in the winner's bracket.